so tonight's lecture is a little bit advanced for, uh, for you know, some of our newest attendees. Um, we're going to go for it anyway, because I want to talk about what happens after Joseki. So this, of course, assumes that you understand some Joseki, which is probably the advanced part. What Joseki is sufficient? One Joseki would be sufficient. Actually, we're probably going to talk about two different Joseki. Okay. So, you know, we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, the Joseki I really want to talk about primarily, we'll, we'll, I mean, like I said, we'll talk about two different ones. There's a very, very common one. Uh, where does black play here? After white approaches, what's a what's a Joseki move? Yeah, this, this is most common, right? Very, very common. And of course, we can look at all sorts of other th types of moves. Um, but you know, this is still the most common Joseki play. So, idea is very simple. White approaches on this side. Black says that's fine. I'm just going to build over here. You come over there. I'll come over there. It's all super awesome. And meanwhile, if white doesn't continue, later on, black says, "Oh, you didn't help your stone." Now I attack and I have friends and you're gonna die. Okay, so there's a lot of pressure on white. So what does white do? Play where? Yeah, try to make a base, right? In other words, like, so how do we make a base with white? Tweet, tweet, space. All right, if there are no other stones on the board and we wanna make that stone have a base, what's the move? Two-point extension. Three-space. Three-two? Three, 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 three. After. Uh, Four-two. Four-two. This one. You've all seen this move before, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Maybe Kurt, Kurt, have you seen this one? <laughs> it's all there. It's, it's all there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very common, right? So so it's it's like, hey, black left his corner a little bit open. White says, hey, can I have some of that corner? I can make a definite base in the corner. Corner is real easy to live. And it's worth a lot of points. So what does black say? Three-three. Stop. Yeah. How do we stop? Three three. Three three. Is it really necessary to stop them right away? Nope. We can tanuki. And any, any of these moves we can tanuki. These are all very common to yeah. play away from. If something else bigger or better is going on on the board, go play it. But this is a very big move. Okay. Like players don't actually realize how big of a move this is. Like. Because it secures the corner. It's this is well. Not only does it secure the corner, um, it's worth a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Right? Because right now, look, these are all black points. You know, one, two, three, four, maybe five. We can probably give about 10 points to black here. Versus if white gets this move, we're looking at one, two, three, maybe three and a half. So that's another seven. So just based on just raw points, never mind who has a base and who doesn't, we're talking 17 point difference. Right? Just, just minimum. Okay? Never mind the strategic considerations of being able to force black out of the corner. Okay, so this is at least a 17 point move. And most professionals say it's actually probably closer to 25, if not 30. It's a big move, it's a big move. Seems like when I do that, then my opponent makes a 20 point move somewhere else. Well then, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's call it your plane go. So it's a big move, so black's gonna take it. And then how does white, does white have two ice yet? Does white have ice base? No, you still need an extension. Okay, so we extend where? Two spaces down now. Yeah, two spaces down. And thus concludes Joseki, right? Six moves for this very, very common Joseki. And uh, for the most part, these two groups are very stable, right? Both players got something. Um, white's group is a little bit lower, but it's also a little bit wider. You know, it's, it's fair, right? It's Joseki, it's fair. But there's two, well actually there's a couple moves I want to look at. The first of which move I want to look at for white is let's say sometime later in the game white gets a stone here. This is a big move. Because before, this, this group is actually projecting a lot of influence, right? And so when white gets a stone here, white is sort of all of a sudden stopping that projection. So what does black do? Tanuki, we ignore? Do we answer this? I think we owe a move to live, right? Will you say that again? Do we owe a move to live? We kind of owe a move to live. Seems like it. We're, we've actually just lost all of our ice base, believe it or not. Black has? Black has lost to have the ability to have two eyes right now. So we play in the corner? Where? Who's trying to? Uh, Black's move. Oh, well then. Because Chris, Chris, you want to come show us where to play? Right. You want to come show us where to play? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you play? 
I'm black. You're black. How many handicap am I getting? You're not getting any handicap. You're not getting any handicap. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. This is most proper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now, I came back because... Oh, yes? You're, you're going to do some marketing for us? <laughs> hmm? Are you going to do some marketing for us? Marketing? Yeah. Are you going to talk <laughs> up the U.S. Go Congress? Well, that was from last year. Why? Well, you can still hold it up and you're right. I, I can hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, in here is a loaf of bread that I made yesterday. Okay. And some jam. I made a long time ago. Okay. So, enjoy. <laughs> to eat some bread in a little bit. Yeah. It'll be a party. Thank you, Chris. And, you know, the problem is if you're getting six stones or so, and you, you know how to make this play, Corn will probably die anyway. <laughs> but it shouldn't. <laughs> but it shouldn't. That should. This is the proper play. Okay. And this and this is big. This is also a really big move. Like actually, this is almost as big as this one. Believe it or not. Because in this case, just if we just count points, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say that's twelve points for black. Plus, now black has the ability to play here later on. And it's a 50-50 chance whether or not black will get to eat this stone. And if black does, that's another uh, one, two, so that's four points divided by two. So what did I just say, how much was 12? Did I say that was 12? 12 plus another two is 14 points for black. Plus if black gets to play again, all right, we can say that's an, a, that's an extra quarter point. Yes. I mean, so yeah. there, there's, a, there's about 15 points here for black alone. So basically what we had is, what if white gets to play here? Black's in trouble. Starters. Well, black's in trouble, but so let's assume that black just wheels us off and gets uh, six points. Okay, so black was getting 15 in the previous example, now black's only getting nine. But now white is looking to make one, two, three, maybe six or seven points, maybe more if we get this. So six or seven points that white wasn't making before, so that kind of cancels out the six points black would have made. Plus, white has another move now to make another three or four points that, ha that has a 50-50 kind of chance of getting. So really, white gets an extra two points here versus 15. So I mean, even this move is still worth like 17 points, you know, if we compare the follow-ups and the move itself. So this is, this is still a really big move. Okay, but if black gets here, this is really big again, um, partially because it also upsets the base over here. So in this case, white kind of bites on one side, black takes a bite of the... That's right. I mean, I mean, Go is making decisions, right? What is important to you? That's, that's every move in a Go game. What is important? What do you think is important? And White says, this, this area is important. And Black goes, that's great. I'm going to say that this is more important, because that way I get to undermine you here later. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a compensation kind of idea. Now, however, there's all sorts of situations where Black will not respond to this move. Believe it or not. Well, well, maybe this move started attacking something over here. So black's got to go run. You know, maybe, maybe white has this wall here. And when white plays here, black's like, oh. <laughs> i got to spend some time and go run this stone out. Or right, maybe you don't have time to play in the corner. So now what happens? Now that stone actually yeah. looks kind of pressure. The white stone's under pressure? Yeah. Sure. Uh, sure. Sure. If white takes the corner right now, can't we capture, probably capture that stone? Okay, fine. Here, let's assume, that let's assume that's the board. Okay. Okay, good. All right, what does white do? Let's say black responded out here. Black went and decided to play there. Good. Okay, white's move. So white takes the corner. Ow. Like, like you just said, do the corner. Take this. This is really, really big move because we just said it's worth at least 17 points. Welcome. I don't think I know you. I'm Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you, Aaron. Hi, We said that's at least 17 points, right? We kind of counted, right? We did a little math. Mm -hmm. Would something like level three, level four, also be a big move if if uh, we get black mm -hmm. go in there? Sure. Be a... Okay. Oh. Disclosure. We're talking about like moves you play after Joseki are sort of finished, right? These, this is like what do you do after post Joseki? I'm gonna try to show you some like follow-ups or like punishing kind of patterns. 
So but yes, this is, this is postulating the problem. You could say you could say that corner is bigger right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll go fine. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about, right? Let's let's just pretend there's a yeah, whole yeah, bunch of other yeah. stones already on this board and many, many settled other areas that have already happened. Okay, so after all that, I want to know how this area plays out, right? After everything else is settled, what happens here? That's what I want to know. So let's say white play later, and that's a really big move. Okay. So what does black play? Honey. Honey. Good. Okay. Honey's okay. What does white do? Cut. Monique is so aggressive. You want to cut this? No. 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 This, this turned out to be disastrous. No. No. But it does seem like you can evade. It does seem like you can evade, doesn't it? Maybe like 5-2. Five 5-2 two. Five two is close. Monique is aggressive. Yeah, 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 Monique is Get a guaranteed invasion, but when you say it's investing in stone, you get to chip away around. It's pretty scary for black. But, oh, this, this is this is really scary for black. This is very severe. I want this. I'm, I'm playing this out to show you how severe it is because you guys need to know the sequence. And black better have a ladder here. Black better have a ladder. Black black needs a ladder here. Otherwise, black is in really big trouble. Like no eyes kind of need to run across the board. Kind of trouble. See what he chose that corner. <laughs> Well, I'm inclined to say black sh should connect there at the 3 2. Makes sense, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This move is normally wrong. <laughs> normally wrong. Okay. What does Let's white do? Play. Let's see why. Let's see why. Uh, I'm going to play 5 3 first. 6 2 is okay, but it gives, it gives my opponent options. You know, it just feels like even though black still doesn't have any eye shape, like we were successful. You're gonna, we're going to find that just poking here is going to give us just a little bit more um, of a direct cutting point. So we want, we want to make this exchange. Yeah, black wants to block. Now white plays. Now we do. Yeah, now play 6 2. And mm -hmm. now these three are definitely connected to this stone, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So how many eyes does black have? Zero. Half. 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 Mm -hmm. Where is the half eye? In the corner. Oh, yeah. That makes one. But black needs to spend a move for it, so we say it's a half eye. Because right now black is zero, right? If white gets this, no eyes. So the theory is if it takes you x moves to make something, then you divide by 2 to the x? Sure. <laughs> well, not 2 to the x, but you get divided by, yeah. Two, you divide by 2 for every move you have to spend to get it? Well, if, any any move that you have an equal chance of taking with your opponent, like I don't I don't know who's going to get that point right now. It's so just divide its value by two. So the potential to play there and get an eye makes yeah. it one half of an half of an eye. And so and so this that's actually really useful math because if you ever have, ever have a group with one eye and two half eyes, how many eyes do you actually have? Two. It actually works out. You have two eyes, right? If you if one takes one, you take the other. As right? long as they're independent. As as long as they're independent. <laughs> It's fine. If, um, if you have three half eyes, do you live or do you die? Maybe. It depends whose movie it is. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. It's your movie you live. If it's your movie you live, it's your opponent's movie you die. So, so the half eye math is useful. Oh, yeah. You have four half eyes. <laughs> you're fine. As long as the eyes are not dependent on each other, in terms of the shape, you're fine. Yeah. So four half eyes is fine. All right, so this is actually a really bad result for black, right? This was black's corner. Mm -hmm. Black has no points and a half eye. Meanwhile, uh, this stone's actually pretty strong now, right? It has friends now. Actually making a little bit of eye shape here. has a horrible cutting point. Uh, who does? Black on six. Here, right? Yeah. There's still, well, it's not horrible because we're willing to give up the stone if it gets us out. Mm. Right, but yeah, I mean, there's still defects even in the shape we do have. This is not a good result. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. All right, so why did this happen? Because black neglected to play at two, three. Yeah, because black decided to try to save everything. Ah, so should we run? A little bit. Six five. There's not space to make eyes without running. I want to show you Joseki move. 
Yeah. Whoa. So why has to cut, right? Yeah, why cuts? All right, the next Joseki move, 50-50 chance whether or not you get it. Three, four, seven, no. Two. Damn it. Which one? Five, four, <laughs> seven, two. Six, five. These are all wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Uh, what about uh, four, six? No. Two, two one. Oh, nice. Uh, Which two, one? Going up. Yeah, nice move. Uh, nice move. It's, it's still a capturing race, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. How many of the races does white have? Three. How many does black have? Three. Capturing race. Whose move is it? White. White. So white should win, except... Corners have lots of extra approaches. Well, it would take an extra approach this way. And if we use this liberty, how many liberties does white now have? Yeah. Two. So that didn't actually help us. <laughs> so we can't approach... So it actually... In effect, even though it's three to three and it's white's move, black actually has an extra liberty, more than white. Yeah. All right, so what do we do, white? Like actually, this letter might have, might have been more fun if it was a white letter. Oh, oh, no, more the fun the three three stone from, from, the, from the right. From the right, very good. This is this is That's a Joseki. Joseki. Yeah, the letter. What? Connect. Connection. Where? Connect. See that. Yeah, connect. Good. Next move for white. Three five. Um, Rook five three. Close. Which one goes first? The five one four. Oh. Yeah. This works, right? Because now these three stones are in trouble. This this is a hard Joseki. Like this is. Like, we're going to spend 20 minutes on this one sequence. So did this ever happen to you, Nick? Absolutely. Never happened. Let's <laughs> <That's laughs> play a game, Dan. Try this to me. I mean, ever. <laughs> ever. Mm. Well, but, but here's the thing, right? You, when, when you get to single-digit cues and people start learning this, it starts getting played all the time. And then you get out of single-digit cues, and everyone knows how this goes, and no one ever, they, everyone avoids it, right? I mean, you know, like, like, like knowing is, is half the battle. Once you know what's going to happen, it never gets played again. Like, when professionals read a game, yeah. most of the game happens in their head. They don't actually play it out. Mm. You only see the surface. It's an iceberg, you know. It's... Mm. So eventually, this, this sequence will become like the iceberg underneath the water, right? Where you won't see it that often in your games, but you need to know it in case some jackhole decides to <laughs> not respond when you approach here and needs to punish it. Like having a nuclear threat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right. What, what do you think Black does? He makes bad hmm? uh, Does he make bad shape? He better. Has to. Only move. Better make bad. Only move. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Okay. It's horrible. It's really, really <laughs> terrible. So now I has to take the liberty to extend the stones on the second column. That's right. What's or well, you mean these stones? Yeah. Uh, we don't have time to do this. Why has to escape? If we play this right now, what does Black do? He wins. Ah, he wins the game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So no time to do this. You're right. That's why I have to play there. But or what if we do it this way? Uh, black ladder. Ladder. No, it's a ladder. Ladders matter. Ladder. Oh. <laughs> so do you see the importance of the ladder now? Ladder. Yeah. Black can't do this. Well, but Black has a ladder break. Oh, right, sorry. I Black in. <laughs> in my head, I'd flip that to white, like, <laughs> yeah. two minutes earlier. Yeah, so... Uh, I forgot what happens next. Oh, wait, we just play. Yeah, we just play. Right. Uh, there, there is another variation we play here, but... Uh, so then what does Black do? Run. Uh, no, we don't have to run. Uh, under. Do you net? No! <coughs> oh, you captured the two cells. Uh, two, <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't this weird? That's, yeah. Black started with this as the base. Mm -hmm. Where did black space end up? This is crazy. <laughs> right here. And there is still some Aji around here, right? There's still... Mm -hmm. Does black have any real Aji on the, the two stones right there? Yeah, there's still, there's still some here. But right now, white has four liberties, too. And this always has a push for free. So it's difficult to use. Yeah, yeah. but that the stones, the white stones on the left also look pretty crowded. 
I mean, for the most part, this is settled, though. Yeah. Like in this variation, right? This is this weird. is pretty settled. Is that weird? Yeah. It's not a settled looking group. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> It's Joseki, I'm telling you. I mean, he can he can descend, right? And he's threatening to make to take that one cuttable stone, right? So what? So it's really hard to, to attack those two white stones. It's pretty subtle. What? What? It's pretty subtle. I mean, it's it's these just, are dead. These oh, you mean these? Dead. The white guys. Yeah, but it's white's dead. move. What? It's white's move. Yeah, but I'm just saying they don't. Those white guys are pretty. You don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> hey, well, you do that. Okay, so does black definitely have two eyes now? Uh, yeah. So, so yeah. white gets sent. White gets sent. So it's sent invasion, right? To actually chop these off in, okay. in the corner. Um, let's look. There, uh, what if, what if white? I'm trying to remember. There's there's a cool variation where there's a really cool Tasuji that you guys have to know, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> How do you get to it? Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's got to be. It's got to be one of these variations. Where white has the ladder. No, here. Yes, here. Okay, here. All right. So there's another variation. Let's say white has a ladder, so I can play this way. And be, and then the black, black's life is super sad. So black has to turn here. Uh, next move for white. Can white play here? No. Well, actually, yes. yes. Why? Oh, it looks like, um, yeah, black. Yeah. This is, I think, I, it's here. So black plays here? Yeah, right. White plays here? Yeah. This is cool. It's cool. This is this is the cool. This is the most cool. Like black you have to you have to know if in, ca in case white and black do this or your opponent does this to you, mm -hmm. you kind of have to know what to do here is black. It's cool. That's really cool. One you don't know Atari white captures one three. Atari what? Uh, two seven. No. No, no, one four. There it is. Oh, nice move. That's gotta feel good. Check this out, man. He has a capture, right? Oh, yeah. Then. But, uh, it's a ladder. It's a ladder. It's a ladder. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. That's really sweet. But really, really cool. Why would white play that? Because white doesn't see the Susuji, and white thinks he can get away with murder. <laughs> Okay. You guys are all here. You know you can't get away with murder. But you're gonna play opponents who think they can. But wait, what is he trying to accomplish, though? Like white. White is trying to not let these die. White thinks he can save everything, kill this, save this. White. White's asking for everything in this variation. Yeah. Right. Right. So white's like, hey, I can I can always come back and kill this one. Oh, I get in trouble. I see, yeah. So he thinks he can save those three stones. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have time. Yeah. He, uh, I think, I think this is a variation, though. Or, sorry, uh, right here first. Then extend. Why can, this, this is a legitimate variation. And. Okay, yeah, cool. Like that's, that's, that's legitimate. But, but then black can still count. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there's still things. <laughs> okay. It's complicated. All right, but here, let's, let's review the basic, what's supposed to happen, because it's sort of like complicated enough without yeah. investigating all of these uh, what if scenarios. So, so what we started out with is a basic Joseki. Joseki? Which doesn't get completed. It is, that's complete. Was that complete? That's well, complete. It, it still needs eventually more development, right? Well, I mean, both players aren't going to pass. Right now, Black yeah. has Mii on, on yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right now it's basically Mii, right? You can think of this and this as Mii for Black, okay. right? So if White takes one of the sides, it's normal for Black to take the other one. And you've seen why! Because Black doesn't get a base. Hmm? Yeah, yeah so, so it's like, if I take one, you take the other, Mii. That's what it's called. 
You want that one? I get this one. I'm, ha I'm still happy. You want that one? I get this one. I'm still happy. I'm happy either one you take. It's sort of like uh, you know you're you're, you're with your, your kid brother. And you say you cut the pie, I'll pick the piece, or I'll cut, you pick the piece. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like that kind of. Guys ever do that? Yes. You try to cut it so one side looks bigger, but it's not. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> So, but here's the thing, black doesn't absolutely need to respond here. It's, it's just that if black wants points, <laughs> black needs to respond. And this is worth a lot of points. What happens if black doesn't respond? What if black decides, you know, someplace else is bigger? And let's also say black has to die. That's important. Hold on. Hold on. You said that black only has to respond if he wants points, but we didn't see a variation in which black ends up with two eyes. No, we didn't. But here, we're going to review. We did. Okay. We did. We're going to review. <laughs> review. Yeah, let's give black a ladder. That'll help. Okay. Make sure black gets points. Or two eyes, at least. Now white takes two, three. Good. Black On takes a. two, two. And when your opponent, who is kind of a stupid head, is going to play there, what do we do? Do we play this? No. No, we've learned a much cooler move tonight. We play two, five, five, two. Very good, we come on this side. Next move. Two, one. Why did Tari swim right? Good. Now, why on it? Good. Yeah, black needs a little. <laughs> if, we don't, if, we, if we cut right now, we just die. Yeah, all right. Good. Needs this point, very key point. White, simple way, simple variation. Super simple time. Can you just connect? Yeah, so. yeah. And there are other variations that involve ladders, right, with pushes. Black. Black just takes the, oh, that yeah. one. Eyes, we have two eyes. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> right, previously this is gonna be a 12 point corner for black. Now it's a, how many points is that? Looks like eight points for white and one, two, three, four, eight points for black. So now it's like a zero point coin. So it doesn't matter if white plays at one, two right now? Uh, right here. Mm -hmm. Atari. Mm -hmm. I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Is that not a cool variation? Uh, this is worth knowing. I would never have played yeah. this. <laughs> I know you'd have never played this. This is like this is like earth-shattering news, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is this is like way off your radar for most Q players. Like this variation, and it's actually a really common situation. Like you'll be so, in, in in download games. Yeah, it doesn't happen as often, but in Q games, whew, all the freaking time. I, I think all I've the time. Not gotten that five two move. I think I've got it stupid. Of five I bet you have. So that We've all have. We all have. So that was a good to know. I want to like look at some of the game history. <laughs> so roughly, how big does that Tanuki move have to be in order for Black to accept this outcome? I don't know. Like thirty, ten. Like... Let's say let's let's ballpark. Let's say twenty points. Okay. It's probably less than that. But ballpark okay. is probably twenty points. So like a corner. <laughs> Pretty solid corner, yeah. Gotcha. I don't, I, you know, I, I don't know. It, okay. It's, it's beyond it's my magnitude. It's beyond my pay grade and my skill level. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, when I play Go Mud, especially when it's opening kind of Joseki, I'm more using the hand approach. It's this many points versus that many points, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna investigate a similar totally different situation. Let's play some Joseki. Where does black go? Same thing. Let's do same thing. Where does white go? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Where does black go? Three, three, three. Same thing. Where does white go? Finish the All right, same Joseki, except we said some other moves happen. Move, 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 all the way up through here. And eventually white gets us down here. This time, Move, 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 and black gets a stone here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come to the other side. So now what? Does this stone have any effect on this space? Yeah, it sort of looks like it. Yeah. Probably does. It makes it invadable. 
it does make it invadable. Mm, yeah, I think so. It's pretty like, it's hard though. It's, 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 you thought the other one was crazy, this is crazy too. Like these invasions are not obvious. Much has happened. We just made this formation over there. We, what? We, we just did this in the game before the lesson. Oh really, like over there, like on the board right now? Yeah, except we didn't have the corner, two, two, uh, the 3-3 three, three exchange in the corner. Oh, you should have that. Yeah. Go back to your game for those two sides of the board and then keep playing. <laughs> All right, so the question is, where does black play? White. If let's say white, white Tanukis, white says like, ah, that has no effect on it. Is it armpit? Maybe. On the, like. Which one? Which armpit? The closer to the stone that's helping the invasion. Right there? Yeah. That's a nice point. Oh, okay. This is a really nice point. Before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want to try? Yeah, Let's go right here. Yeah. Well. So is that stone in the bottom right really? The Actually, I'm not sure. This this might be an overplay, but at the very least, we can do this. I think this is, I think this is proper. I don't. I think this is an overplay. Um, but we just can just do this. Now what? Uh, why do you have the connection? Probably want to block yes. it. Uh, block. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how many eyes does white have now? Maybe one. Two, At least two. one. Basically one. one. And a half. Yeah, we, we, yeah. yeah there, 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 there is potential for more than one. But if white goes away. That's one and two halves, right? Oh. No, it is not. Oh. Well, if you didn't respond to the peep and just extend it up there instead. Ooh. Ooh. You give up those two stones for life. And you those two stones for life. It doesn't look like two. Here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, could you just do it again? Make that connection to the peep instead. That's pretty good. Yeah. White can live. Oh no, white can't live. Right here. Yeah. That's not two hours. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh no, that is two hours. Right, that is two hours. I'm crazy. What if black plays there first? Yeah, black can play there first. But then there's still not an eye there. There is not officially an eye there, but that's a hard eye to poke out. You gotta have some friends and support to poke that one. It looks poked to me. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose there's also that one right now. You could poke it out. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. That's a, it's complicated. <laughs> but white is not comfortable. That's for sure. I think we I think we can agree on that part. Yes. So anyway, if black was, if this is like, again sometime in the middle game when we're just trying to unseat our opponent's quote unquote safe groups, this is moderately successful. Like we gained a little bit, the stone's stronger now. We actually can make some points, make some eyes. White's not as comfortable. Let's look at a different variation. What else can white try? Block. Yeah, block. Get cut. And there's actually a couple of good variations here, um, depending on what you want. I'm going to show you probably the, the simplest one, which isn't that simple. Uh, this is the one where we sort of let white live. So I'm going to call it simple. So good. Where do you go, white? Good? Okay. What? Atari out? This one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That looks scary. Hey guys, suicide. Yeah. Is it? How it is? Fine. Is it? I mean, I mean, we can also play this way and just capture these, right? Yeah. Just be like, right. Exactly. You don't. So, to that. it's like, but I probably don't want to give my opponent a panuki on the outside. I want again when I play this move, something you have to be willing to want is this outside. So okay. let's let's take the outside. But. Uh, just from my perspective, 
the Panuki is big, but oh my gosh, if you got that corner, like how would you... Panuki's bigger. Is it really? Yeah. You, I mean, on an empty board? Yeah, it's bigger. That's my key perspective, because I'm looking at that going, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like 15 points almost. Well, it feels How many like points is a Panuki worth? 30. 30, good. <laughs> What's bigger? Well, is that really only 20? Like, you look at, the, if you killed those two stones there, like, if you just took the Atari, Instead, and he took the Panuki, then it'd be your move. I count well, four. First two. of all, it depends if he has a ladder or not. Okay, well, let's just say he takes the Panuki. Let's say he takes right this. Okay, you Atari. I say he fills. And you connect. That's, that seems big. This, anything you put over here is just white now. Yeah. Right? We can't save this stone if there's a white ladder. I guess I don't, I don't, I guess I wouldn't try. <laughs> okay. That just seems like a lot of points. I don't know, maybe. It, it, it is a lot of points. So, you know, so is a pretty. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, now these all come off. Let's show you something more proper looking. <laughs> So I'll say white descends, white caps, black cuts, proper move for white. Extend, take the Oh, wait, that we can. And extend. Uh, take a liberty from the two black Good. Downs. Which liberty? On third black. Good. Let's move. Free stuff Atari. Now? Uh, now, now, now the two seconds. Oh. And black? Yeah, black. Yeah, depending on ladders and local area. This. So if this is already, you know, here, you can imagine if there's black stone here, and black stone here, and black stone here, and, <laughs> and maybe they did this earlier. Right, again, this is this is later on in Joseki, right? This is this is later on. How do you feel? It's black. Pretty good. I feel pretty awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, if you get black an extra like five moves. <laughs> well, but assuming over here, one. Actually, this this was more or less even exchange, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So what is this? These these initially were the same as those. Yeah. Oh yeah, I get the point. Yeah, yeah. If black wants outside influence, it's a very good exchange. How many stones are on this board? I think white has more. I think white has more? Mm -hmm. I have to take one off for white? Mm -hmm. Really? No, I think it's not even. Uh, black has one more here. Black has four more. There's four whites. Uh, even, even, even. Four, four. White. So I think, I think white's white's move. Good, yeah, it's white's move. move. So Three, three. Sure, but I mean, this, you did you play this as black, right? This is a great result. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. And furthermore, you still have this move here to seal this off. All right, free Atari. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. There's also variations where we actually leap out over here. And we run amok. But these are more hard. These are difficult. And... things like this. But they are complicated. And I don't know, I don't know the variations here, so I probably I just have to read them out in a game if it was if I was playing in a game. 
Um, I'm not even sure that works. That doesn't work, right? These die. Yeah, actually, if this happens, this is this is too good for white. There's a better move for white. I just don't know what it is. I think I think white has to play something like this at some point. But I'm also used to having white have an extra move around here. Uh, but this is bad. What does black do here? If black just wants to destroy white. Uh, kinda. Give me a point. Three, four, seven, seven. Oops. I'm in. This is a nice point. Oh, but this, this is a nice point. White tries to cut you. Yeah. White tries to cut you. What do you do? Extend up. Sorry, cut off. And we could probably just put that. That looks great. It's a nice capture. But again, you have to be willing to give white a bunch of thickness here. So it might it might be the wrong thing to do, particularly if white has a stone here. Right? This would this would be a terrible thing to do at this point. Because now white's just gonna eat this corner. As we saw in the previous variations. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point. Okay. It's still okay. light stir. Here, let's uh, take this variation off. I want to show you another variation. It's much easier. We did the hard stuff. Woo. Guys, want to go with some easy stuff? Stuff you might actually remember from your game? Yes. Yes? Sure. All right, same situation. Let's pretend black has something over here. Find a move for black. Five, six. Five, six here? Yeah. It's good. It's not great. We want greatness. Come up from the bottom, maybe. The bottom? Or the bottom left. Yeah, you don't want to use this, these stones? No, yeah, we don't want to encourage white to skip. Yeah, why not just one to the left of the previous suggestion? Not, not that four, one. Seven. Four, four, seven. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Attach to the stone. Yeah, the, white, the middle white stone. Attach. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just really bad. <laughs> what, what about in between those two stones? Uh, yeah, one down. Yeah. Whoa. yeah there, there is this, this attachment is possible, but it's usually not very good for black. Anyone know how to respond for white? Uh, yeah, you go. On the line, top. Of it. fifth line, fourth line. On top of it. There? Yeah. That was a terrible idea. What? <laughs> oh. You can't just white. let Atari. Why did Atari's out? Want to this? Yeah. Okay. I hate you. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. White is better. This is diversion, right? This is excursion. We're still not answering the question about this yet. I guess underneath. Here? Inside. Cross cut. Yeah, I guess that results well. That's very similar, right? If you go after this yeah, stone. Yeah. If you go after this stone, it's probably worse. Yeah. yeah that's not very good. Is hmm. extending. Extending which one? Last Let's go back. 
I'm gonna show you the move. You ready for the magic move? Yeah. It's really stupid looking. <laughs> I have another question for you. Wow. What happens when Black does this? A target me? No. 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 Those are eyes. We just saw that. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like the same thing in a different order. <laughs> That's right. That's entirely what it is. This is a good reading problem, a good Tsuji problem. Here? I okay, just extend the stone. Yeah, just extend the stone. There's mine. Three, four? Three, four? Okay. Yeah. No, three, well, three, three, five. That is a three, four. Oh, okay. three, four. <laughs> One now, three, five. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Three, five. <sighs> that was no good. <laughs> We're not doing very well today. <laughs> so far, there's only a total of 12 possible moves in this area. You've tried three of them. <laughs> we'll get Lucy has an idea. Extend this one. Why don't we? Went this way? Yeah. No, it doesn't look right. Yeah. I don't think that was over the top. I think we just go there. Uh, how about two? Eight. No, I don't think that looks good. Um, how about two five? Ooh, that's the move. Are we, or is this going to end up depending on the ladder? Nope. No? Nope. Why? It's just fine. So it's just black. fine. <laughs> it looks terrible. Yeah. It looks terrible. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you want to try? What do you want to try? Sorry. Like this is hard. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Then what? Connect. Yeah. Oh, okay. you push out Atari, right? Oh yeah. You connect and you're dead. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Just fine. <laughs> Damn. Good. How does there. this work and none of us can see it? <laughs> <laughs> you're tired, it's late. <laughs> so again, if your opponent does this to you because they're a poopy pants, <laughs> what do you play? Clamp. And if your opponent does this... Just extend the stone. You need to take away the liberty. Okay. Okay, but that's not really what I want to teach you. That's just a fun. <laughs> still want to use this wall somehow. What's Stan eating? <laughs> Three five. Three five. Okay. The problem is it helps white shape more than and it leaves us defects. So But you're gonna end up wanting to play on four or six anyway, so why not just do that first? This one? Yeah. I am gonna to want to play four or six, but I'm not gonna to want to do it first. Oh. What if you play oh You ready? You ready? You ready? Six. Yeah. So the point being, white can't run. White has to connect. Yeah, if, if he does a one space jump, you cut him. You cut so him. if white tries to come out to, well, I'm saying in the middle, if, if, white was, if white tries to come out to the point that we want, you just cut black. him. Yeah. Oh, we're oh, so happy with this. Mm. So happy. Look, we already have a wall here. We're going to run right into our wall. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Well, let's say you didn't have a wall. Could you get away with just putting a stone in between? Right now? This? Yeah. That seems really terrible. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's strange. Not, not helpful. Not helpful. There's no cut here. Oh, I see. Yeah. We we'll just give away a bunch of outside for free. Why not 4 7, switch 4 8? Uh, in that variation? Yeah. No, no, from the beginning. Oh, from the beginning? Why not this one? Yeah. Because white's going to respond here. Yeah. 
seems like we need a big box. Well, here, we, we didn't play out the rest of the variation first. Here, we go here, then what do you do? What does white do? Oh, that. Yeah, the bigger box. <laughs> now we get to play here. Yeah. This move actually threatens to kill this stone. Oh. When, in combination with this one. True. So, white will normally try to play something like this. Yeah. We play here. And now we can either tanuki or we can basically set up our choice. And this is very nice. And it looks like, hey, but what happens if white just comes through here? Well, depending on how strong we are, we can actually just say we don't care. <laughs> Yay, white got a stone. Uh, this is also playable. All right, if white comes through here, we can play there. However, there is some danger lurking in this way. But it doesn't really feel like white can win this. Because when black takes here, it's pretty, it's pretty huge. It's huge for, it's a giant, it's a giant call this way. Cool. Yeah. So if I want to just lean on this group to get some central influence here, and this is really, really useful, especially like when we're chasing, we have a weak right group over here. And we need just a little bit more friends to apply a little bit more pressure on it. What's the sequence? So you lean as far as you can. White? Bye. Well, mm -hmm. And then we normally expect white to play here. If we don't, can you guys see what happens? I mean, later on, it depends what we it depends what we want. We might as black, we might leave it alone too. But this is a uh, pretty big. If we want to have now our, our thickness is perfect, but also let's say let's say white actually wastes a bunch of moves here, neutralizing this. Well, then that's fine too. Later on, we just. Probably just descend. We capture the corner so here. So there's options. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, so what did we learn? Don't play in the corners. Don't play in the corners. Don't play 4 4 Joseki. What? <laughs> That's what we learned. That's what's wrong with my game. Well, we have this shape. Where, where are the next sort of couple key points? to threaten either one of these groups. Uh, Moyo is that one. Two, three. Oh, here? Yeah. And here are sort of oh, yeah. threatening moves. Mm -hmm. If someone plays this move and threatens something, what do you do about it? Um, drop down two from it. Actually, we didn't talk about what white can do here. Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, white can do that. White can just take this immediately now. Yeah. 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 But with black having that wall there, is that really a threat for white to jump in then? Then. Would white do? Would white ever do that? Like, I might just play over here. Maybe just do this instead. Or I mean, if yeah. if it was white's move, would he ever do like a three nine scenario? Or a three, yeah. Like right here, right now? Yeah. Like this year? Yeah. Sure. Really? Yeah. Okay. Possible. Yeah. Nice. I, just, I, don't, I think. If, 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 if it was me, blocks, I would, move for I would do one higher. I would, I would probably play there. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd probably play here. Yeah, respect the thickness. Yes. <laughs> yes I'd probably do that. But, you know, I think, I think there are situations where you could play this and be okay. I mean, it's, this might get a slightly better result. Here, here is sort of saying, like, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might be raising the fight a little bit more than what you yeah. want. Respect the thickness. Okay, so this puts a lot of, if this isn't here, right, this puts a lot of pressure on black. What is black's normal fix it move? Take it on. Here. Good. If black is a stone here, where, where's the normal invasion point here? That arm point Yeah. And this lets you do things this way, or this way, or thickness. There's a whole bunch of variations. So this is sort of like if your key takeaways, right? And this, this is formation. This is what we primarily looked at. Well, what's what black put, made that move there? This one? Or yeah. other? Yeah, well, no, 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 the, the previous move. What's black made the previous move, what should white do? 
It really depends, because you know, it's white, white's not ter as much as in danger. Yeah. Unless there's not, there's all this other black stuff. So, so in this case, we can just play something like this if if it's important that we get support or get out. But white maybe want to try to cut further below and throw the whole board into disarray. <laughs> like here. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll get up to white. There's also this too. <clears throat> It's not a bad exchange to make. Cool. Oh, Seth. What about if um, you know the uh, the approach? So back into the second move, black second move. I mean, does the knight's move? Uh, what about the large knight's move? How would that change things? No, in the in the very beginning, on the top left corner. Shit. So, oh, bring uh, bring the black stone one over to the right. Oh, How here. How does that change things? Many things. Can you go to, like one or two things? That's, that's usually how I how I react to it. Um. After this, I don't know. There's a punishing overplay lecture. I can yeah. find it for you. There's like three basic Joseki. Yeah. I feel it no. feels like the key point now. Um, White still takes this. Black box here. It feels like I, I don't I don't I don't know this. I'd have to read it out. But it feels like the key point is there now. Mm -hmm. It's just shifted over one over. Um, but. Um, Let me do some reading. Hmm. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I don't know this as well. Okay. Usually, usually when um, when you make this large knight, white is pretty rare to play this exchange. Usually, you just jump in the corner directly. Hmm. So this is more rare. It's, it, it's, it's played when white needs to have a base over here, like this white group is really important. But if that's not important, white just takes the jumps in the corner right away because the corner's too open. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know it. I mean, I'm sort of looking at moves like this, though. And it looks kind of hard. Black is white here. Uh, that's funny. I guess this just works, right? Why well, should take the Atari first? Oh no, Atari, right, right, right. Yeah, is this Atari? Doesn't work. So, this looks like an important point though. If we stand, and block. Wait, can you one more? Yeah, I just think this looks like the best we can do. Three uh, liberties, but this isn't good either. All right, that's a pretty big loss. And uh, white is alive, but pretty. Yeah, I mean, white's alive. We didn't die. I guess black doesn't have eye space yet either. There's probably better. There's probably better. I'm just saying I don't know what it is. Uh, it might even be the same, you have the same invasion point. It might not even change all that much, quite honestly. If we look at this, we do this. And we just do that. That might be. Maybe? Right. How about you try it out in your game? <laughs> After we get four. Okay, good, let's play some Go.